a GMAT problem solving practice question. This is a question where I was in a quandary as to how to classify this question. Classify it as very easy, easy or not so easy. Right? I do not know whether to put it in the 500 level block or in the 600 level block. Certainly not more than that. Why this quandary? This question is conceptually a very simple question. But for a question of this ease, the number of people, the proportion of students who got this question incorrect ended up being more than what would have been justified for a question of this level of difficulty. What it essentially pointed out is basically this. These people did not not know their math. They got their math right, but they got the answer incorrect. So questions which tend to be easy, we tend to overlook what the question is asking. So it's not just enough to solve the question, get the math right, but it is equally important to answer the question that is asked and mark it right as well. Let's quickly run through this question. You'll know what I mean by that. And these answer options are tantalizingly inviting you to mark the incorrect ones. Sam buys 10 apples for $1. At what price should he sell one apple or a dozen apple? He should sell a dozen apples if he wishes to make a profit of 25%. Let's quickly get this going. It's not the price for one apple. The cost price of 10 apples equals $1. So cost price of one apple equals $0.1. Conceptually, it's a very simple question. There's no doubt at all here. He wishes to make a 25% profit. So 25% of what? Cost price. So cost price is $0.1 per apple. So his selling price is going to be equal to the cost price plus 25% of the cost price. So that translates to selling price of one apple because we have computed the cost for one apple. 0 0.1 plus 25% of 0 0.1 which is equal to 0 0.025. This will translate to $0.125. This is the selling price for one apple. If you look at answer option A, with 0 0.125. The question had been, what's the selling price for one apple? This would have been the answer. But the question is, what is the selling price for a dozen of these apples? The selling price of one apple is $0.125. The selling price of a dozen apples will be 12 times this. 12 times 0 0.125. This is equal to $1.5. So getting this part is getting the math right. Getting this part is getting the math right. Getting this part is getting the question right. So $1.5 is the correct answer, not $0.125. Quickly run through the entire thing in a printed form, making a 25% profit of the cost. So profit is $0.025. Selling price of one apple is $0.125. So selling price of a dozen, that's what this question asks, is equal to $1.5. Choice D is the answer. So again, I reiterate, do the math and before you mark the answer, revisit the question, check out what the question is asking. The question is asking for a dozen, then compute that and then mark the answer. For you leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently, pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash vizaco and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.